Throughout this video, we'll have a look at a few of the best conditional shipping plugins for WooCommerce. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first on our list is our very own conditional shipping and payments plugin. So with this plugin, you kind of get two in one. So you got the option to not only conditionally display the shipping methods, but also the payment methods as well. With this particular plugin, we can add conditional rules based on the weight of the product, based on a shipping class, based on a cart total, billing address, postcode. This is super useful because some shipping courier don't ship to particular postcodes, right? Or even maybe when a product's of a certain weight, certain courier won't take that item, right? Or maybe it's some kind of restricted item. So this is where this plugin comes in super handy. Let's have a quick look at the back end and then we'll have a look at a few items for you to consider. So when we navigate over to our dashboard, we'll navigate over to shipping and payments, and then we can go ahead and create our shipping rule. Okay, we can add our first restriction. Okay, and then essentially we can give it a name. For example, we can restrict shipping by postcode. And then here we get to choose the shipping method in which one to exclude, right? So all the shipping methods that you've got on your store will appear here. So you just choose the appropriate one. Okay. And when we scroll down, we can even show the customer a notice to let them know why that particular shipping method has been restricted. And then here we just go ahead and add our condition. So as I said, we can choose from back order, billing country, cart total category, whether they use the particular coupon, the customer, customer role, membership plan, because we've got a membership plugin installed, package item count, package total weight, um, whether it's a recurring item. This is great for if you offer subscription as well, because for example, express delivery, you don't want to include that into a recurring membership plan, right? The shipping class, as I said, shipping country and shipping postcode. Okay, so here we've created a rule that says the shipping postcode is, and then we can just enter in our postcode here. So I'm in the UK, so our postcode looks something like E2EY, right? So this is our postcode, and then we can add multiple postcode per line. Right. Or even if we wanted to say we want to restrict all postcode that starts with HD2, we can just put the asterisk sign and then any postcode that starts with HD2, regardless of whatever comes after it, we will restrict this shipping method. Right. So once you're happy with everything, you just hit save changes and then the rule will trigger on the front end when these conditions are matched. Right. OK, so when we navigate over to shipping country, if we click add restriction. Similar to what we did earlier, we give it a name, it's for internal purposes, and then we can say we want to exclude shipping to a particular country. So for example, we could say exclude shipping to the United States, and then we can select a particular state here, right? If we don't ship to Connecticut, then we can add it here, and then we can display a custom message to the customer, right? Just letting them know that we don't ship to this particular state. For whatever reason, we can add it here. And then we can choose a condition when we want this to trigger, or we can just leave it as it is, and then anyone who's from this particular state, they'll get that message when they try to check out, right? Or we can link it to a condition. Now let's have a look at the second plugin on our list. So we'll navigate over to WP Trio. Right, this is the pro version. They've also got a free version, but it's quite limited in what it does. I'll leave the link to this um, plugin page and you're more than welcome to check out the free version as well. But in this pro version, similar to the AOVO conditional shipping plugin, you've got the option to restrict a shipping method by weight, length, volume, right? The cart total, number of items in the basket, the particular product, the shipping class, shipping category, coupons, attributes, the zip code, state, right? And so on. You can go ahead and restrict shipping based on a customer's shipping address or the particular state that they're in. We can even hide the payment gateways based on certain conditions, right? We can restrict the shipping by product category tags, which is super useful shipping class. And a unique feature that I personally like is the fact that you can hide the shipping conditionally um, based on a date or time, right? So this is super useful. Okay, so this is our third plugin on the list. Let's have a look at a fourth and final plugin for you to consider. So as you might have gathered so far, they all do similar things. All right, so this plugin, we can conditionally restrict the shipping based on the product, the product category, the weight, based on a cart total, based on the time, which is quite cool, the destination as well. Okay, and this gives you a better overview of all the conditions you can add within this particular plugin. So just to wrap up, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.